In this episode of the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide, Sky UI 5, Extended UI, and Race Menu. Then we compare and contrast two alternate start mods, Live Another Life and Skyrim Unbound, and show you how to install both. Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and welcome back. So we've got a couple things to do today, and we're going to start where most new players start with a brand new character, and then by hitting new and going in. And I figured we'd go ahead and start there, and we're going to go through a couple basics. Let's open a mod organizer, we'll see what we got to do. We're going to start with Sky UI, and the reason why we just start with Sky UI is because it has an MCM menu. And if you're unfamiliar with Sky UI, I don't know why you would be. It's been downloaded 10 million times. Uh, it has a recent update to version 5, and it has new features including menus for crafting, enchanting, alchemy, a whole bunch of new stuff, and I have actually have never used Sky UI 5. I always had one of the older versions, and it's quite good from, you know, the expansion is quite nice. I won't get into the, conf the whole uh, controversy regarding paid mods. That's not what we're doing here. But it is imperative that we have it because it's a much better experience. Yeah, you, know, you can see pictures of it here. This is the original. This is Sky UI. We know why. And it also has the MCM menu, which is very important for other mods and how you configure those mods within the uh, Sky UI interface. So we need to have that. And we're going to go ahead and install it. It's very simple. It is SKSE dependent. So we need to have that. That's why we installed it very early on, because everything needs SKSE, right? Sky UI opens up an external installer, and it's done. Just like that, there is nothing to do with it. You just let it go, <laughs> and that's it. The other mod that we're going to be installing with it at the same time, because it's kind of a good thing to have with it, is Extended UI. Extended UI by Mr. Jack, and it basically overhauls the skill tree and perk tree menus. You can see it right here, it is much better. I mean, it is very clean, very pretty, and Probably the most important thing for us is it expands the text left to right for a lot of mods, a lot of um, perks when they're getting longer names. And if you have a perk overhaul mod, like let's just say Perkus Maximus or Sky Re or Ordinator or something like that, you need that extra space. It also does one more thing, and that's to expand the console command menu so you can see it. And also will allow you to sleep for more than 24 hours. That's a neat feature, and it does come in handy occasionally for certain things. So we're gonna install that as well. We'll just hide Sky UI, and you can see extended UI, it's right there. Double click to install, manual. Uh, you don't need the readme text, but it's a good thing to read at some point. Make sure you go back through the mod page and read that completely, hit okay. And you can go ahead and click okay, and now it's activated. You can see it's basically, these are both NBSE plugins. If you just go into information and to the file tree, there you go, Sky UI, and there you have it. Extended UI, same thing, file tree, nothing else to say. As far as your plugins go, they are both activated. We're gonna order these at the end of the video. We'll just do it once and get it over and done with. So we can now hide extended UI, remove from view. The next one we're going to do is race menu. And race menu, I'll just start closing these out as well so we don't get confused. Race menu dramatically changes how you create your character. You can see in this picture right here, it has a lot more sliders and you can go through and there are sliders for almost every category. What's interesting about race menu is that you can Configure it after you've decided on what, you know, beauty mod you want. As long as it's, you know, loader, load ordered correctly, it will show up in the race menu. So you'll know exactly what your character is looking like. If it has new features, you can see that as well. And you can see it has some requirements. Um, SKSE, we knew about that. If you come down and look at the features, and this is where we start getting to, you know, excess stuff. Uh, race menu ESP, we need that. Race menu plugin.esp is optional. And this will adjust player height, bicep size, glute, breast, and breast curve size. Now, if you're using one of the TNP body meshes, CBBE or UNP, I'm not an expert on those, 
you would need this ESP as well. Race menu mimic that ESP, not recommended for cross gender, cross species, and horse mounted use. I don't know what that means, horse mounted use. But we'll just let it go. We'll probably need that. Uh, the race menu overlays, yeah, you could try that. You know, it has body tattoos and UMP nail paint if you really think it's necessary to have nail paint. But uh, that's worth, you know, having, I suppose. I, s I guess. Anyways. Now, when you go to files, you'll have the main files and the optional files. Don't worry about these plugins. Just don't. Yeah, I know it, it thinks, well, I, I don't know if I need these. You don't need these. All you need is the main one. Download that. Let's go back into Mod Organizer. When you double click to install, it's a manual. And you can see that you have these right here. Just do, go ahead and click OK. It looks good. And activate it. All right now we can hide race menu. And we remove it from view. And there was a whole reason for doing that because the next thing we're going to be doing is installing an alternate start mod. And we have two choices. And let's take a look at what we've got. We have alternate start live another life by Arthmore. It's been downloaded 3 million times. Everyone kind of knows what it is. I probably have video play in the background, you know, show you what it is. But basically, you create your character, right? This is the old race menu. And then you go talk to a statue of Mara and you decide your background and how you want to live your life. And then you will insert that into the game. Now, there are certain problems with doing that in as much as certain mods may affect the game space. And, you know, the newest version of Alternate Start says it's solved a lot of those interactivity or those uh, compatibility issues, it may, remains to be seen. You don't have a lot of other choices because it always assumes that you'll eventually become the Dragonborn. It just does. But, um, you know, there's a number of patches. There's installation requirements. If you're unfamiliar with this, go look at some other videos and make a decision. Alternate Start Living Another Life is a good mod. It's a very good mod. If you wanted to install it, download this one right here and do that. I will actually run through the installation process with you. There's not much to it, but you get the idea. The other mod that we're going to discuss is Skyrim Unbound. Skyrim Unbound is kind of a controversial mod. It was only on the Steam Workshop for a long time, and it was finally uploaded to the Nexus just a few months ago, I mean, back in November. It's relatively new to the Nexus, and I'm going to have video play in the background while I talk about this, is that it completely overhauls how it does things. It lets you decide if you want to be the Dragonborn or not. It will let you decide on how quickly you want the dragons to appear, um, and it does it very smoothly. I played around with this for quite some time, and... Basically, I create a character in Whiterun. I walked right in through the gates. So they didn't even talk about the dragon attack. They didn't act like the main quest was actually involved or anything like that. But they did mention, oh, there was a dragon attack in Helgen. Really? Oh, okay. I ran all the way up to Dragon's Reach, and they acted like, hey, you're just some guy, which I thought was really interesting. I even went in and talked to Ferengar, and Ferengar had a line. It's like, wouldn't that be interesting to see, to meet, you know, a dragon or meet the dragonborn or someone that can help me with it? I, that was fascinating to me. So the ability to live a life that is, that you're not the dragonborn. When you first start the game, there's a new loading screen and intro. And it kind of goes, it went blank on me. I'll show that to you. But it went blank on me and I didn't know what to do. And there's supposed to be a message that pops up that says, check your MCM. I didn't see it. So I just hit escape and it popped up the menu for me and I started that way. But that was kind of a bug. It was minor. Unlike alternate start, it has you create your character after you make your choices. That's kind of, it was an interesting difference. As far as files go, there's only one right now. Um, it's a lot lighter weight than alternate start. So that may be an option for you. I've decided, and this is maybe controversial choice. I've decided on Skyrim Unbound. I want to give that a try. Um, 
my newest character idea doesn't involve her being Dragonborn at all. So that's why we're going with Skyrim Unbound, because I just want to go through the game and do that. There is an option that you can go back into the MCM and check a box to say, I want to become the Dragonborn now. And then you can absorb a dragon soul next time you meet a dragon. So you can go through an entire game just fighting dragons as if you're a warrior or a mage. Just fighting dragons, but you're not the dragonborn. Interesting. So I've decided to go with Skyrim Unbound, but we'll show you alternate start, live another life. Double click to install that and go into manual. We'll open this box up so you can actually see what we're doing. There's a number of things you don't need. You don't need alternate these text menus or these text documents. So you just go ahead and click those off and that will reduce your file down a little bit, but you do need these files right here. You'd go ahead and click OK and activate it. On your plugins, and this is where it starts getting interesting, run loot, because you're now, if you decided to go with this setup, you'd run loot and see what you got. Most likely it will put alternate start at the bottom. So our plugins, Put it right at the bottom. That's kind of what I figured. Go ahead and click apply. Let it make its changes. And there you go. Loot's done your work for you. But I'm not going to be using alternate start, so I'm going to remove it. Sure I want it? Yep, I do. Back to our downloads. I'm going to delete alternate start because I don't need it anymore. And we're going to install Skyrim Unbound. Double click to install. Manual. And no data. Data on top level. Okay. Set data directory. Now it looks good. Script, sounds, unbound, BSA, and an ESP. Go ahead and click OK and activate it. Now when you come into your plugins, it will put it at the bottom again. Loot's going to tell you the exact same thing. We'll run it just to be sure, but Loot's going to tell you one at the bottom also. And apply. There you go. At the bottom. Didn't change anything. I knew this would be at the bottom because from testing. So that's it. You can now start playing your game. And this actually helps me a lot because now I can take create a character and create a opening save. And now I can start grabbing lots of footage from the game and uh, show you more and more examples. I said I have examples, but I really had to go. I have to go shoot them right now. So anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, that's episode three. And we'll start getting to more mods next episode. What we'll do? I don't know. It's a guessing game with me. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.